Hi, uh, this is Manuel Ocaña. I am an architect uh, and I was teacher for 20 years. And now I'm curating this uh, pavilion with Eduardo, uh, the Spanish pavilion at uh, Venice Biennale. And I work uh, as, curating, as curator, sorry, and I have my own uh, production and design company called Fast and Furious Office. Um, my name is Eduardo Castillo Vinuesa, also an architect, a researcher and curator based in in Madrid. I'm also involved in teaching, uh, same as Manuel at the EDSAM UPM, the Public University of Madrid, and currently I'm the artistic director of a research platform called Media Lab Matadero, which is a cultural center uh, funded and um, promoted by the municipality of Madrid. Well, this year the proposal that uh, uh, Manuel and I are curating is called Footscapes, and is uh, in-depth exploration into the architectures that feed the world. Um, in a moment where you know, energy issues, energy debates are in the forefront of, of, of the agendas, we thought that food and the way in which we produce it, uh, how we distribute it and how we consume it uh, remains in the background. However, the way we deal with all these different processes and the architectures that are involved in such processes transform our landscapes and territories in a more deeply way than any other energy source. So what we wanted to do is to have a deep exploration into the very physical, the architectonical framework that allowed those processes to take place. The way in which we did that is to, through three main blocks uh, or three parts. The first part is uh, a feast, an audiovisual feast composed by five movies each one of them delving into the five constitutive layers of the agroalimentary system or agri-food system, which are foundation, production, distribution, consumption, and digestion. And the second part of the exhibition is, uh, is in this room and is a visual uh, documentary exercise showcasing 10 total recipes. Uh, Total Recipes is the name we gave to a very specific kind of recipe that unlikely the standard recipes that we all know, which is the, uh, basically is composed by the mixing protocols of how you mix certain ingredients already available in our kitchens. The Total Recipes cover the whole infrastructural change necessary to produce, to produce those ingredients in the first place. So we use food as an entry point to explore very different uh, places and sites from the place where milk is produced to the infrastructural uh, system that allow data to move our food from, you know, from one place to another and many different other places. And that's materialized through a compendium of these case, 10 case studies, which is a book, which is a, a, a book of 10 total recipes that showcase all these different examples of how from a dish you get crossed through the whole five layers of the system. Um, the first part, is a public program of collaborative research and public events that will, it will happen from the opening of the exhibition to the ending of the Binale, and that will activate different parts of the Venice Lagoon in collaboration with different institutions, uh, both from Venice, but also from, from Spain. Well, uh, there is a, a really structure, uh, an ad hoc for this pavilion uh, museography, right? We have a main venue, a central main venue here with the total recipes, that kind of archives uh, with photographs, with uh, drawings related to each uh, in research uh, with the food. And there is five uh, perimetral uh, venues, now dark venues, with uh, five movies, uh, each movie in each chapter related to the project, like Digestion, a movie about digestion called the uh, Caca Carnival. Uh, each movie uh, has its, its own title. Uh, consumption, uh, distribution, production and foundation, five movies in dark cells. So this uh, main venue is working like a multiplex. Uh, uh, in this uh, main venue, the pictures 
the drawings, uh, the, the, they are uh, represented in several formats. The photographs are, uh, are key in this exhibition because now, uh, maybe in, in this biennial and it's an old-fashioned uh, kind of make uh, exhibitions, but the pictures are uh, every picture is related to some architecture uh, uh, vision. There are uh, skate holdings for uh, making boats. There are uh, ghost kitchens. Uh, maybe this exhibition uh, requires a part of the user to deal with with it. No? Uh, there are uh, nice uh, re recipe books or archives. It's, mm, it's not exactly a game, but uh, you have to, to play with all that information and go deep if you want, or no go deep if you don't want. What do you expect that the visitors that come to see this exhibit take with them? Well, not only, uh, our main idea where we engage with this project, uh, both Manuel and I, was that the best thing we can get from an from a pavilion in a place like the Biennale of Architecture in Venice, is that you came in, you spent some minutes, and hopefully you go out of the pavilion thinking in a different way from things that you never thought about, or things which are so familiar that food, but you never knew, you never thought about how deeply this goes into very alienated places. Uh, so of course, uh, we want to engage with the audience in two ways. First is to showcase the agri-food system in a way maybe they never thought about before through the architectures and infrastructure that allow that system to actually exist. But also, uh, we want to look into the future and wonder uh, about other possible models which are more just, sustainable, or ecological than the ones we currently have. But instead of just answering us that question, we wanted to invite the public to you know, frame that question themselves and hopefully to create like a collective compendium of case studies that is the result of a deeply collaboration between us different researchers that will join us through the public program, but also the audiences of the pavilion has an active agent producing those case studies. Perfect. And, and to, to close this part, which of all these stories really caught your attention, really surprised you? All of them. Like, to be honest, one interesting thing about the recipes is that we invited different architectural practice to produce them, but deliberately we invited practices that they never deal with issues related to food at all. Uh, we invited actually practices that they operate into the, in the outskirts, into the disciplinary limits of what architecture is. So each of the teams has very, very different interests around very different topics. And we asked them to use food not as the message, but as a medium through which they engage in those different topics. For example, one interesting example is the uh, recipe called Ghost Tortilla from Lucia Tahan that explore the digital infrastructure needed to order a tortilla at 3 a.m. when you go uh, come back from partying or having some drinks. Uh, and she focused instead on you know, where the eggs are produced or where the potatoes are produced and the whole log logistic change of those ingredients. She actually explored the virtual infrastructure needed to send the data to Uber Eats in California, go back, the submarine cables, data centers, all that part, all those different sites are essential so the food system operates, even though sometimes we don't consider that they are connected. Um, another, for example, recipe that is very interesting, which is uh, done by the Postnatural uh, Institute for Postnatural Studies, which is an interdisciplinary platform uh, based, an independent platform based in, in Madrid, delve into polvo o granza, which is a, a kind of a dish made with octopus in the north of Spain. And they use it as an entry point to talk about topics related to human and non-human entities relationships, you know, and, in, and concept of intelligence, which are, um, are right now in the, you know, in, the, in the current moment that we live, where we talk about artificial intelligence and many different topics related to how we think about ourselves and the way in which we act in the world. They uh, approach from a non-human centric approach to the idea of, of the Polvo Grancha, which is very, very interesting. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome.